the hill. It's Neyland Stadium, where its max capacity is one of the biggest in college football. Well over 100,000. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Down he goes around the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. Tackle right around the 28 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and seven. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. Brooks is waiting for the snap. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 39. Ole Miss's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play. from the 34-yard line. First down. Fires to the wideout. First down. And they make the stop around the 15-yard line. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? From the 15-yard line, first down. Got a man in and out of his hands. That makes it second and ten. He gets rid of this one. Third and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. With the pass incomplete. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good.
they line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27 yard line. The Rebels are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Drop back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry. Here he goes. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short two-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Brooks gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 44. He lost the ball. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. Tackle made at about the 45. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tennessee is up four. Nice run up the middle. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. They'll get him for a loss, and that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. So it's 2nd and 14. Ball on the 49-yard line. He scrambles. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line.
completes it, but he can't shake the defense. I know it's early on here, but I say put some faith in your offensive line and try to grind out these last few feet. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He fires this one. And he's got it. He's tackled around the three-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tennessee is up by four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Small will try the left side. Touchdown, Volunteers. It's the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Volunteers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 34. Number five brings him down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There's a strike complete. That pass play goes nowhere. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up. So the freshman kicker isn't able to put it through. So we'll change possession with a score. 14-3, Tennessee. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out. And most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. 
The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Brought down at the 36. Second and eight. Ball on the 36-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got it, and brought down immediately. Brooks is the punter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He drops it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. They need to show a little giddy up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Gets it out quickly. And they push him out right around the 22-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 41. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's hit immediately. That makes it second and two. Nice run there. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. Five wide. Red two. And he dives forward. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Quick pass. And he tackles him hard at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. We've played one quarter. Tennessee leads it 14-3. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tackled after a decent pickup. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. After a decent run up the gut. From the 14 yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Three, three, 
Steps up. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Touchdown, Old Miss! He makes the PAT. Ole Miss gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. Tackle at the 38. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Third down. Third and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He goes downtown. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Brooks to punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields the punt at the 16. Brought down at the 26. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Nice run, and he's brought down. So the quarterback draw goes for five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 31. And a quick throw. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's stopped behind the line. Second down and 12. Ball on the 40. They got to him before he could get back to the line. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. First and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. 
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. That's a game of six on the play. That brings him second and five. They come out on an empty backfield. Makes it out to about the 30. From the 30-yard line. It's first down. And they'll get him in the backfield. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's immediately tackled. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he shoved out of bounds at the 23. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee up a point. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 44. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ready! Round 50! Round 50! First down, Grant. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Tennessee is up one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Half 
Backs got it on the quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 15. And this play is number eight on the drive. He throws right in the air. It's intercepted. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. The Rebels will use their first time out of the half. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. First down, and he's out of bounds. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. From their own 40-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Brought down at the 42. complete and he stopped immediately he made the catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down Callaway is back deep to return and he's got to be happy with that punt Kirk yeah Brad that was nice and now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 23. Tennessee with a one-point lead. right away so we played two quarters the volunteers in front 14 13 we played 30 minutes glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talked about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Boy, oh, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That's good for that brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Nice run there. Connor gains around six yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at the 30. And they finally bring him down at the 22 yard line. First down. From the 22-yard line, first down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. his eye and it makes the catch and he is drilled at the 20-yard line number 22 on the tackle at the 20-yard line third down they'll line it up again on third down the screenplay. Tackle at the 14. Ole Miss can take the lead here with this field goal. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They'll line it up for the field goal.
It's up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes, right around the 34. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. Again with a carry. And he has it on the corner. He makes his way to about the 45. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. And they get the sack. Boy, this defense is doing a great job of bringing pressure. That time they brought a blitz and allowed the defensive line to break loose and get to the quarterback. immediately tackle behind the line. Loss of three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Almost picked off. Brooks is the punter. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Rebels struggled in that first half, but they've come out here in the third quarter on fire. I would have loved to have heard the halftime speech because this head coach is a demanding head coach. Clearly, he was not happy with the first half. Whatever he said has fired his team up, and they look like a different team here in the second half. Ole Miss is up two. Tackle made right around the 30. That's good for a of 10 yards. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled at the 45. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 44. Tackles him for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. It's third and ten. Ball 
on the 45-yard line. Five wide. And a quick throw. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26. Gain of 19 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. Ole Miss with a two-point advantage. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Level at the eight. That's a team of the That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's taken down at the seven yard line. This is the 10th play in the drive. On the ground, right side. And he hits him hard at the five. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, touchdown! A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. Trying to go up by two scores, they line up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. They're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. Tackle at the 16-yard line. Ole Miss's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliantly. Well, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. to about the 27-yard line. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Gets out to around the 38. Carries the ball for a nice game. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Throws a bullet. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Brought down at the 46. From the 46-yard line, first down. Ole Miss holds just a two-point lead. Got it and brought down immediately. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He fights forward to about the 39. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 23-21, Ole Miss. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 40. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Bring him down around the 34-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in 34. Gives it left side. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And here's another third down. He's under pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up, and it's wide left. No good. They miss the opportunity to take the lead. Oh, boy, and believe me, nobody feels worse than that kicker right now. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Ole Miss is up two. He's at midfield. Tackle around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up second and three. around the 11 yard line first and 10 ball on the 11 yard line He's stopped behind the line. but he can't shake the defense. From the nine-yard line, third down. Ole Miss with a two-point advantage. Quick toss. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. Well, they're taking a look at this play upstairs, but I think they're going to have a hard time overturning this one. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. To, to review, review the, play, the play, the ruling, ruling on, on the, the field, field stands. stands. So they uphold the call on the play. Touchdown. After watching the replay, it was pretty apparent that this was an easy one to call. Great catch for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A nice six play, 66 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They make the stop around the 10 yard line. That's a score on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Makes it out to about the 19. Brooks to punt. He's tackled at the 48. Nice yardage on the run back. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. That makes it first and 10. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle made at about the 31. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Kicks away, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Let's go! Here's an opening. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 43-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. And they finally push him out at the 31. And 
And now the ball is loose. It's scooped up. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Good outside run there. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 47. Just under three to go in regulation. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Tennessee is going to use their first time out of the half here from the 41 yard line first down they just inch past the marker yeah it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football he's taken down at the 29 yard line they go with the option and pick up the first down yeah and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself that's a good decision He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 14-yard line, first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and goal. a great tackle at the three-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.